martial arts, something that we, or I, personally has been anticipating on DLC. That's still a few months away apparently. But worry not because to quench my curiosity for a moment, I found a super cool mod called the Clever's Moveset Mod Pack. Now the mod pack is not limited to martial arts only, but solely for this video, I'm gonna be using martial arts and some elemental movesets. Because I love fighting related movies, I replicate the looks of Tony Jaa from Ong Bak 2, specifically from the slave scenes with some uh, beard addition. Alright. Anyway, yeah, as much as I want to punch and kick right off the bat, the martial art weapon can only be acquired after beating Godric. So the first weapon I'm using is the earth bending. I bet it's one of those elemental stuff. Earth bending, yes, this is what I've been looking for. The spell in quotation mark is now equipable from the equipment, but it requires like 15 strength and six decks. It replaces the weapon called Spike C Sisters, Casters, Fetus. Now I know what you're thinking. This is Avatar, bro. This is not, not martial art or something. No. Avatar has water bending. We don't. But I see the correlation since Avatar was heavily involved with martial arts and just like in real life, we gotta learn to master. Right. Oh my god, okay. Once you trigger the combo, you can actually cancel that. Yes, it is a bit hard to control especially when the true potential can only be shown after finishing the whole combo. <laughs> bro, that rock just went straight to that face, bro. There are different movesets between one-handed, two-handed, roll, jump attack, and that creates a whole different way to approach in the fight. I'll be testing them right away with Margit before moving to other weapons. Margit the fail. All right. Whoop, whoop. Alright, you can reach me. You can reach me. No! Wait, 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 wait. There we go. That's what I've been waiting for. Let's go to full light attack. <gasps> All right. Okay, the ultimate combo now. The aiming is not easy. All right. It does take time to get used, and also I need to mention that Earth Bending might not have a lot of fancy acrobatic moves, but it has some cool moves that is quite hard to pull. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this with my flying kick if possible. Alright, this is the one, this should be. There we go! <laughs> I still need to beat Godric to get the martial arts, and to do so, I prefer using some spicy stuff. Some spicy and hot, like the Star Scorch heirloom. I'm joking, it was the fire bending. Let's see, the stats fire bending actually replaces a weapon called Qatar. 10 strength and 10 dex, but primarily skills with strength with D, so that's why it's very convenient for us to get the Star Scorch Heirloom. Also got the Dragon Crest Talisman as well, because I know I'm gonna get hit a lot while pulling these moves. I like to anticipate before the reciprocate. Oi, oi. Fucking hell, dude. Like the fucking keyboard, bro. Bro, stop. Stop failing, you motherfuckers. Godric, fighting fire with fire. Okay, wow, dude, actually my, uh, I have to switch like uh, so frequently between um, two-handed and one-handed. Okay, let's see who has a superior fire here. Change to electric, nice, this is cool, oh wow, okay, wow, the damage, bro. There we go, 
go. Let me finish all the kicks, bro. There we go. Always finish everything with kicks, just like what I did to Margit. So the reward after the fight is martial art, but we still have to buy it from Gostok. Well, hello. Okay, here we are. Martial arts from Gostok. I mean, yeah, they, they do scale with strength and dex, yeah, but no uh, no requirement at all. Wow, zero strength and zero dex. Apparently, some of my randomizer files might still in the game, but I'll just buy these outfits then. This martial art weapon is really good against everyone. However, if the definition of good is landing a single hit and then back off, then the answer is yes. But my main goal here is beyond that. Pride over functionality. I also want to look cool and badass while doing it. Hey, 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 what the fuck? The combo pacing is a bit different and it makes me missing my attack sometimes. This happens a lot against fast enemies, but honestly, there are a couple different ways to pull the stun depending on the enemies, like Red Bull, for example. I can utilize the slow earthquake, surprisingly. Ah, boom! Oh, nice damage, man. Kaboom! Ah, yes! Okay, we gotta end this with flying kick as usual. If that's possible, I don't know. Oh, it is possible, I think. Oh, look at that. Alright. We'll catch these hands full. Oh, wow. Alright, nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Martial art is the only one that doesn't have range attack. Obviously. But it has an AoE attack like that. No. <laughs> Okay, nice, you cannot parry that bro, oh wait, you can. It is very slow, but the damage output is outright very satisfying. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna outmatch every magic user with my personal knuckle sandwich. Do you watch Marshall by the way? Like, if you do, then uh, let's try to replicate the whole thing. Bro, I think the Earthquake is just too OP, man. Oh. oh, okay, I was faster, I guess. What Marshall did is like the same with what I did right now. Like, we have to figure out. Oh my god. We have to figure out. No, wait, bro. Bloodhound. No! Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, there we go! Nice! All the flying kicks really come very handy as a finisher. Back to earth bending. Because I never utilize. Oh, never mind. I, I should have used this one, but it's okay. Ah, oh, no! I forgot. Once we do that, we can never be. We can never dodge. Okay, um, I think I did count a little bit of usual opening right there. No, not here, not here! Yeah, I don't know man, like the... Most of the heavy attacks are very hard to pull. Uh, if I put it a one-handed like this, the damage was just too low. This is like the range one-handed move because like um, with two-handed, the range is be become very close, man. I'm not quite comfortable with that, but that's okay. Okay, let's try using this heavy attack. Oh, nice! They're very nice. Okay, okay, but I think the window was just too tight for that one. I'm kind of a little afraid. No! Oh, I'm gonna be. Oh, never mind. That cancel that? That's crazy. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. That's the right timing. You're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead. Oh, I think I'm gonna be dead. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. Not my proudest fight, but it did the job, so I wouldn't complain. 
Putting my progression aside, I just want to say making videos like this is very refreshing to me. I just game and trying different cool mods. But then things just change and I realize uh, there's something really valuable that I couldn't even play Elden Ring with. Yes, exactly like this comment says, The Cat Ears by Dio14 might be the pick of Asian Souls. Now, if you excuse my ugly ass face, here's a better presentation. Two colors, black and white, and also with two variants with fluff or without the fluff. All the options to match your taste. These ears replaces the Great Horn headband and the Altered Commoner's headband. That's why I spent around 30 minutes looking for one. It's totally worth it. But you know what else is worth it? Oh my god! So um, yeah, this is Travel with Girls by DDCH Player. Sorry if I say the name incorrectly. But yeah, you can travel with these beautiful girls of the lands between. So basically, you can summon all of them girls at the same time if you ever feel lonely. Some of you virgins might have no idea what it's like to do with your partner, but it's just simply hanging out with them. Like walking through the lake of undeads, or maybe slaying dragons. You know, the usual couple stuffs because I know what the ladies like. This mod replaces the Im Ashes uh, with not 3, not 4, but 5 notable female NPCs. Yeah, their outfit might be a little weird because uh, I don't know how to tweak the file correctly like man, Rodrika rocking those shining horns bro. And Millicent finally found her purpose without dying. And Rani? No, it's Celine. But yeah, those are the honorable mentions, link in the description if you want to check them out. Let's get back to the martial arts stuff. I forgot to mention this, most of these weapons has unique Ash of War like Fire Bending and the Earth Bending, however the basic martial art doesn't have one, and you can infuse it with available Ash of War, in this case I pick Quick Step. The Punch and Kicks version of Godfrey. Okay, fast enough, oh no not fast enough, okay, no actually it's a... Uh... It's the wrong way to dodge, but it's okay. Go now, earthquake, boom. Jump attack, I mean jump kick. No, okay, it was um, that was on me. I was a bit too late. I'm trying so hard right now to make the fight looks um, cooler, like in my head, but apparently it's harder than expected. Okay, one more hit, probably regular attack will do. There we go. <laughs> A little palm hit. Progressing to the main story and I have another new weapon called the Air Bending. This is one of the martial art movesets that actually has a weapon outside of my fist. Air Bending Staff, let's go. Now with the Air Bending Staff, apparently it needs a, a dex requirement, 18 dex. Not that much, I mean that's um, a decent number but I think we need to uh, put a work on some of my stats. It's a bow staff that replaces the regular twin blade. Most of the elemental movesets have two stances, long range attacks and short range combos. Same applies with the air bending. One handed is long range, two handed is short range. But this one is probably the most effective weapon for long range. Alright, back to fire banding. Did I mention I can use lightning as well? Azula gave me permission to use this. I got a reason for getting the stone bob tier. In my ideal scenario, uh, if I want to utilize the full combo set, I need more window and having a stance breaking attack will loosen the opening a little bit. Alright, bring it on. Oh shit. Oh my god, okay, I cannot dodge that apparently. Okay, so apparently much more beneficial um, beneficial for me to attack from long range. I kind of don't like it, but uh, that's the one that works because like, yeah, as you can see, the short range wasn't really the best. I Makes mean, it really good if you're using two hands. I don't know, man. We don't have like the, the range attack with two hands. Unless you're using uh, the, the backflip.
Ah, so um, actually the range attack only on the third move, on the third move of the combo, not beneficial. Let me just move with one hand as well. Can I? <laughs> All right, that's a bit that's a bit too far for me. Okay, can I? Alright, come here, bro. Now, nah, this, this would be really funny if that... Oh yeah, of course, man. I thought uh, it, it didn't reach me at some point. No way, okay. The wind actually really has some... Oh my gosh, there we go. The good range. Oh my god, the damage was just so different in uh, two-handed as well. There we go. There we go, the airbending. What do you guys think about it? I think uh, my favorite still the martial art one. I mean, the basic. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so he's gonna pull the lightning stuff? I'm, I'm so... I don't remember putting any other mods, to be honest. Giving more chance to the airbending. I know, logic-wise, win against fire was a bad idea, but uh, we can throw that logic out of the window because this thing slaps, man. In terms of how the move looks, airbending might be my least favorite, but talk about effectiveness and speed, it is 10 out of 10. Some moves also create range that is very useful against close-range fast enemies, but I didn't show it here because Fire Giant is just... Um, well, it's Far Giant. Okay, first try. Speaking about fire, let's put the fire back to the spotlight. Okay, alright, we reach the most annoying boss in the game. I will try. I would say um, using fire bending would be would be a little bit ironic in this case, but I believe this will be like my best choice. Now, this fight with Gatskin Duo should be the one that I perform the effectiveness of long range battle. I can use the airbending staff as well, however, fire is better and cooler, okay? Remember, looks over functionality. Oh my god! Yeah, I should have bring more blue. Blue flash, bro. Blue flash. Come on. There we go, look at the damage, man. Look at the damage. Oh no, it's with the big... Oh, my last! Unprotected pillar. Yeah, I, dude, I'm I'm not learning from a mistake, man. All right, so when the two of them are being aggressive, I think it will be it will be not much less easier, as I expected. Even with this um, good ass range martial art stuff. No way, bro. No way. No, not now, please, not now. Again? Uh, not as smooth as I expected. Maybe I should have utilized more lightning attacks, but uh, it works. <laughs> Alright, so this is a new way to avoid the most annoying path in the game. Maybe I should try killing the dragon for once, man. I never do that. Okay, this might be the chillest run I had. 
but using these weapons at the end of the day, you gotta level them up, man. Okay, hello, welcome back. I just upgraded my weapon, now the damage is pretty decent, right? No! Okay, now I think it's the time, yes. Yes, nice. That's like my successful hit from uh, the heavy attack, this one as well, I think. And another one, I hope. <laughs> ah, shit, okay, never mind. It hits, it hits. That's all that matters, man. There we go. Much e Oh, shit. I'm being too comfortable right now using um, all these good-ass spells. Sometimes making me not very cautious with the situation. Which is not the bad thing because, like, sometimes uh, I need to enjoy the game. Uh, the way it's supposed... I mean, this is not the way it's supposed to be, but uh, you get what I'm saying. Okay, some two-handed. Because we want to pull that... Uh, the rock spam. Oh. Okay, now do the rock spam. There we go. No, why would I do that? But yeah, that's like uh, one of the poor Ash of War right there, the lava surfing. Look at that, man. Yeah, I think sometimes the recovery time is just um, a little bit too tight. Okay, he's dead now. Let's see if we can stun log Gideon now. Okay, here we go. No way. I thought I can stun lock him, but that's okay. Let's try it. <laughs> Look at that. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Oh, shit. No way. No. Bro, he's allowed to heal, that's not fair. Okay, nice. Jump kick. Mm. Bro, what the hell? I was so close. I was so close. Now, as you can see, I was this close to beat Gideon. I have no trouble encountering previous NPCs, but why Gideon, man? Why? Like, his fight is the hardest in the entire run, bro. I'm not even joking. Fuck, dude. Okay, Gideon wasn't as easy as I thought. One thing I really hate is how the accuracy of the weapon match my skill issue, and that's a perfect recipe of failure. But don't worry, it only took me 30 minutes to finally get the grip. Oh, we can backstab that. <clears throat> I forgot about that. Okay, you wanna do that? Nah, oh. Thank God with the earthquake, bro. Now let's let's just tone down a little bit. Welcome the marvelous Chester armor by KRDCD. Replaces all the all-knowing set, and it also comes with the blunderbuss as well, replacing the light crossbow. That's why I showed this after beating Gideon. Personally, I found this mod aesthetically cool, and I thought it was from Bloodborne. You know, the long coat and the Victorian era Broadway style hat. That's why I picked this one to showcase, but it was from Dark Souls 1 instead, which I haven't played at all, so I have no idea. It also comes with the firearms, not the sniper crossbow. Uh, however, it's just a replacement without custom sound effects, and it works exactly the same as the regular crossbow. Links in the description if you wanna check it out as usual. Now, let's get back to ass beating. Okay, alright. It's Godfrey. Yeah. Okay, it might be a little bit a little bit hard if I two-handed the whole thing. Maybe if I use one-handed, this might work in a very weird way. Never mind, like the damage was just so low, bro. But at least um, I can land multiple hits. Right? Wow, it's actually working. I'm, I didn't expect this. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Alright. A hit on the head. Very nice. Okay, that looks um that looks great. Okay, so apparently uh, a heavy attack, a one-handed heavy attack works like a... No, I wouldn't say like a charm, but it is like one hit at a time. Because like if I use the flying kick or maybe a regular uh, light attack, like the range is just not good. I mean, the range is good and all, but um, the problem with lays on the recovery speed and the combos, man, because like the combos is really weird. Pulling myself back a little bit. I don't know, like there's a back roll happening. There we go. See, you see that? Oh, no way, no way. Oh, wow, okay, nice. Second chance for me. <sighs> oh. You always need to give everyone second chance, bro. Keep pushing through. I'm feeling too comfortable and no pressure at the moment, so Radagon will definitely get obliterated by the fire bending. Let's see the damage. Nah. The damage isn't too much, but it's okay. We're gonna rely on only light attacks, man. Believe me, only light attacks is enough. Okay, I didn't see that, my bad. Okay, he's dead. I I hope. What? Like he literally dodged all the lightnings, man. Okay. Uh, what the fuck, man? What happened to my reflexes and shit? Okay. All right. That's not uh, what I was hoping for. I thought I can make it a little bit cooler, but well, it it happens. It happens. Okay, now let's go back. Bro, it's gonna be too easy, man. It's gonna be too easy. I believe um, if I want to restart the Radagon's fight because I'm not quite satisfied with how the outcome is. But come on, man. Oh my god, dude. My button is not pressing. Fucking hell. Okay, here he comes. Here comes the Elden Stars. Pull back real quick. Bro, the range is unreal, man. Uh, okay. So the good thing about that scale is you can cancel that. So you, you have to click it twice to like launch the um the rockets. It's not the rockets, it's um, uh, whatever projectile that is. Okay, goodbye. Alright, we are done with everything now. And I didn't plan to continue beyond this point, honestly, because uh, the point of this video is just showcasing. However, after testing some other interesting toys, I found out uh, that a weapon called Hinokami, a katana, like in Demon Slayer, Apparently has some hand-to-hand -hand movesets, depending on the stance. And it is by far the coolest, in my opinion. It can be bought in Roundtable Hold and has faith as uh, requirements. Yeah, gotta put some points uh, using the two-finger heirloom. Another variant of fire bending. Uh, this reminds me of Zuko. Uh, I gotta try this out. Oh my god, oh my god, the damage, damage. Alright, wanna test out a new toy? It's really cool, man. Look at this. Okay, come on. Let's do the flare and windmills. Do the big dance. Can they actually bite? Actually, no. Yeah, they can. Ugh, that combo, man. <laughs> so, uh, kill the sword one with the skill. I think the iframe dodge. And then pull that really cool flame attack. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Yep. Mmm, one hit, baby. Oh, look at that. But no, at least for now, let's use uh, the martial art only, man. But that's okay. Okay, that works, that works, but uh, the damage wasn't, wasn't that crazy, man. I, I don't think I can pull that every time. See the combo. That's pretty decent. There we go. Boom. Dodge. Now drink. And then uh, dodge again. Dodge again. Nice. I think I found a new window, but like um, the move set. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really sh show you the cool ones, man, because. Uh, this one, this is the one that works. So, <laughs> if I want to use regular attacks, uh, the light attacks, maybe I can use a traditional uh, window. Maybe let let's try it. I think the light attacks are like the coolest one in my opinion. But we can only attack one at a time, or else we're gonna uh, I'm gonna get hit. Come on, pull the lightning, bro. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. No, oh, now, yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so that, that was the charge, uh, the charge light attack. That's probably the only time I'm using Hinokami. I might need to use it again on another video, probably. That one was just too good. But I think the rest of my trip to the Helic Tree was just me using the bow staff uh, because of how fast it is. Oh, dude, come on, dude. Oh, you fucking, you fucking done, man. Now, I mean, honestly speaking, I just realized uh, I always have the same walkthrough pattern in almost every video. And I want to break that pattern on my next video, but yeah, for now, it's Loretta right here. Ain't gonna be that hard. I'm gonna use this fight to talk about something else. Some people actually ask me, did I ever get tired of making Elden Ring content? And the quick answer is yes. That's why this time I tried to play with some mods or probably changing my approach to the game since like I planted this template of how the game is gonna be in my brain and it's almost the same thing just with different weapons so it's better to spice it up a little bit adding mods it's a start and maybe I'll try convergence next or maybe different challenges different games as well I don't know probably I want to play Bloodborne though but if the question am I bored with Elden Ring well not really I feel the lack of motivation when I'm starting off a new playthrough for a video, but when actually doing it, uh, I don't really feel bored. Uh, maybe it's just some gamer mindset or something. <laughs> it's kind of heavy to start, but once you bypass that obstacle called laziness, uh, the rest of the recordings feels quite enjoyable. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, thanks for listening to my rambling. Loretta is dead, let's keep going. Oh no, it almost a no hit run, bro. Let's go! Ah, Melania. The fight that on par with Gideon. Back to the original, the basic martial arts is my go-to weapon, just because. Okay, that was a bit too fast. Okay, out of quick now. There we go. Jump attack. Oh, okay. A really bad move whenever uh, the waterfowl dance appear. Because I hate the wall that blocking my... Like, there is no bigger arena, man. Like, we, we cannot even ask for a bigger arena. Like, no matter how big the arena is, like, you always get to hit the wall at the end of the day. It happens with Elden Beast as well, right? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Dude, I thought I was about to get hit, but no. I hit her first, baby! Oh fuck. So, Melania has less poise than other bosses, so I thought I could take advantage of that by using the Earthquake. But, unfortunately, I get outspeed like most of the time, unless I cast it right before she finishes her moves, which can be pulled only on rare occasions. Outside of those moments, I am forced to use regular light attacks because more than that will cause Melania to dodge, or I miss landing one, and resulting her killing me on that spot. 
Oh wow. Also, one hit at a time. I really want to utilize the kicks if possible because they're like the seasoning of the movesets, you know. They are the one making it cooler, but I couldn't pull it off too often with Melania. Ooh, thank god for white range. That's right. Okay, one more time. There we go. And then kick two times. There we go. Another one. Okay, nice. Okay, let's see if I can pull the thing now, the earthquake. All right, as I expected. Oh, <laughs> okay. Second phase might be more easier than I expected. Okay. All right. All right. Nice. 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 Very nice. <laughs> Dude, it always got me every time. Oh shit! No. Ooh. Okay, that this should this should will kill her. I hope. Goodbye. This is uh, very fun. Very, very fun. There you have it. This was totally fun. But I wouldn't say the mods make the game easier, but it's sure making it very cool. Clever makes more than 20 unique movesets. Martial arts are just a few examples. I put all the mods links in the descriptions. Make sure to check them out. And I want to say thank you to all my members. I love you all. And yes, yeah, see you on the next one. Or probably on live stream on this channel as well. Goodbye.